Ladies and gentlemen, climbing for height above us, a Messerschmitt 109. And before the enthusiasts in the audience tell me it isn't, I'll explain all of that in a moment. Based at Duxford, this is part of the Aircraft Restoration Company's fleet and we would like to thank the Aircraft Restoration Company and indeed the Imperial War Museum as we seem to borrow an awful lot of their flying aeroplanes for this weekend. While we're at it, hearty congratulations to John and Amanda Romain for their MBEs. This aeroplane is a much developed Messerschmitt 109. It's built by the His Hispano Aviacion in Spain. And this one dates from 1954. At that time, they were looking for the most reliable, most high performance engine they could put on it. And of course, they went for a Rolls Royce Merlin 500. which is why it sounds the way it does but it has all the characteristics of the infamous Messerschmitt 109 in Spanish service and they saw action in the Spanish Sahara it's ground attack aircraft The aircraft was known as the Bouchon, and that's a pigeon with a large crop. If you take a look at the front, the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine gives it a, a quite bulbous nose. And of course, this aeroplane and a whole series of others were retired in 1965 and found by Group Captain Hamish Mahadi and brought into the film, The Battle of Britain. Released in 1969, the film directed by Guy Hamilton, who went on to direct a whole series of James Bond movies, remains a firm favourite. Carrying out a wing over, coming round for his final pass. Take a look at the tail services on this. The aeroplane, very small tail, and it's undercarriage actually quite close coupled. And an interview I did many years ago with the late Nick Grace, who had just restored one of these, he said that the small tail, the incredible power, and the close coupled undercarriage meant that Professor Willie Messerschmitt the design of this aeroplane really should have got a knighthood. There were more Luftwaffe pilots lost in takeoff and landing accidents 
than there were in the air. And behind him, tail chasing now, P51D, Miss Helen. Miss Helen is a genuine World War II veteran. It served at Bodney with the 352nd Fighter Group. And uh, they were known as the Blue Nosed Bleep Bleeps from Bodney. The only known survivor from that valiant fighter group. And what I'm going to continue to call a Messerschmitt turns hard right. The Mustang continuing to follow. Bringing these two aeroplanes together here. Brilliant way of showing the likely combats of 1944 onwards. And the Mustang's got a bead on the Messerschmitt. Trailing oil. The distinctive whistle of the P-51 at its gun barrels acting like flutes as the air travels over them. Having dispatched the enemy, our Mustang pilot is going to celebrate in the skies over Old Buckingham. While escorting B-17s to the marshalling yards at Dresden, on April the 17th, 1945, the airfield at Platting came in front of the nose of Miss Helen and several other Mustangs, and they had made an astonishing seven passes across the airfield, destroying three Messerschmitt 109s 
and two of the twin jet Messerschmitt 262s on the ground. As you will see later, by that stage of the war, the sky was virtually owned by the Allies. As I said earlier, this aeroplane is one of several Mustangs that took part in the film Memphis Bell. And of course, Sally B was the central element in that. Making his last pass, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Helen, the war veteran P-51D Mustang. <laughs> 